Unbelievably, we are already in week four of action in the National Football League, and I know some of you are looking to cash in on some good bets this Sunday. Here with me to talk about some of his best bets for Sunday's games, including two of the New York football teams playing as a man repping the Boogie Down Bronx and NFL analyst with the Action Network. His name is Chris Raybon. Chris, how you doing? Doing good. Excited for week four, Dexter. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to have you here. I'm excited as well. So, Chris, let's start with the local teams. And first, with the New York Jets. They're going to be in the Steel City to battle the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Pittsburgh, they're the favorite here at minus three and a half. Underdogs went nine and seven last week straight up. So, are you taking New York to pull off the road upset here? Now we're on to the next week, and I think this is going to be a tough spot for the Jets having to go down to Pittsburgh, the terrible towels. Uh, and Pittsburgh, remember, has extra time to prepare off that Thursday night game. Uh, it's also Zach Wilson's first game back. So uh, I'm taking the Steelers here. Zach Wilson is just two and five against the spread on the road in his career. He's three and 10 straight up across all games. Every single one of those losses has come by four or more points. So I, I like Pittsburgh here. Mike Tomlin, 15 and nine against the spread, 60% in his career when he's coming off extra time to prepare and a loss. Now, other local team, Chris, New York Giants, they had a disappointing home loss on Monday night football to the Dallas Cowboys. And this week, they're three-point home favorites against the Chicago Bears. So are you touching the line here or are you looking at some player props in this one? You know what? I'm going to go with the under in this game. I think that's the Giants and the Bears both are going to come into this game and they're wanting to, they're going to want to run the football because we know what's going on with Chicago. They're throwing 15 passes a game. Justin Fields has not developed like they've wanted to. And then for the Giants, you just unfortunately lost Sterling Shepard, who was your leading receiver. Uh, Daniel Jones under a ton of pressure. And Chicago can get a ton of pressure without even blitzing. Uh, so these two teams are in the bottom uh, of almost every passing metric you could see uh, in his career. Daniel Jones at home. The under is 15-9. and nine. And Justin Fields in his 13 career starts, the under is 9-4. and four. So uh, I don't think you're going to see a ton of points in this game. All right, low-scoring affair between the Giants and Bears. Could be, and there's rain in the forecast, too, uh, for that matchup at MetLife Stadium. Now, Chris, there's also some intriguing matchups around the league on Sunday. But I think the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens, that should be an exciting one with two of the best QBs in the league going head-to-head. -head. Ravens, home dogs here. So how are you betting this one? I think you take the points with the Baltimore Ravens. Listen, the Buffalo Bills are the best team in the National Football League, but this number suggests that on a neutral field, the Bills would be five or six points better than the Ravens. I don't think the discrepancy is that wide. This Ravens team, Lamar Jackson is playing lights out. Uh, they're beating the blitz. They're beating zone coverage. Everything's working on offense. And a lot of what went wrong on defense for them against Miami, those guys are benched now. Like, they, they were a couple of rookies who gave up three touchdowns of two of six in that game. So I think you take the home dog with Harbaugh. Last eight games as a home dog, Harbaugh 7-1 and one against the spread with this Ravens team. Has never lost one of these spots against the spread with Lamar Jackson as his quarterback. Those are good numbers right there. Ravens plus three on Sunday against the Bills. That is Chris Raybon, NFL analyst for the Action Network. Chris, love the insight. Thank you for your time, man. Thanks for having me.